Good morning, bonjour, bon dia, buenos dias. This is Jeremy, it's February the 28th. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at uh, sensors with open plotter. And I just received this module uh, the other day and it, it's the GY91 module and it contains um, two ICs. This is how it comes. And there's the uh, MPU 9250, which is a motion tracking device, nine degrees of freedom. It's got an accelerometer, accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. And that's the BMP 280, which is a pressure sensor. Um, and so this, this module together has a lot of functionality. It's hard to believe you can get all that on one board. So what, the first thing we have to do is we have to install a header. So what I'm gonna use is a vise to do that. And I'm just gonna put this in here. And we're going to attach the, put that in there, and then we'll put the board on there. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's perpendicular. So the first thing I do is I solder one pin, and I just use a little sticky piece of rubber here to hold this up. Make sure that's perpendicular. So I'm going to solder pin one, and then I'm going to check if it's perpendicular, and if it is, I'll do the rest. So let's do that. Okay, so there's pin one. So let's quickly check if this is perpendicular. And that's nice and perpendicular. Okay, so now we can go and solder the rest of the pins. If it wasn't perpendicular, you can uh, just adjust, adjust it uh, until it is. There's no point in soldering all the pins without checking because you might not uh, you might not succeed. Incidentally, I'm wearing safety glasses. You always want to do that whenever you're soldering. You've only got one pair of eyes. You don't want to take a chance and oops, that didn't work. to heat the pad up before you apply the solder just so it flows freely. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna <coughs> take this thing out. That looks nice and perpendicular. And let's just check for cold solder joints. So I'm gonna look at this under a magnifying glass just to make sure that's done correctly. And looks like it is. So the next step now is we're gonna wire it up to the um, I2C bus of the Raspberry Pi in the, um, and we're gonna use the open plotter software to see if it, it'll detect the module. Okay, so I've taken the GY91 and uh, this is my Raspberry Pi 3B and I'm running open plotter here and I've just connected it up to the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi 3B. Uh, the first pin on the board is the VN, which is 5 volts, which is connected to the GPIO pin. I think it's, uh, let's see, pin 4. And then there's a space. And then there's the ground. The ground um, goes to GPIO pin 6. And then there's the SCL. And that goes to pin, uh, let's see, I think it's pin 5. And then the SDA goes to GPO, uh, GPIO pin 3. So that's the setup there. So I'm gonna go back to my laptop on my desk. I'm running a VNC server. It's 192.168.0.12. And I'm gonna do all the um, interfacing from my desktop. So let's go back there. Okay, so I'm at my desktop laptop and I'm just looking at the Raspberry Pi open plotter uh, desktop here using VNC server. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do to detect the two modules, the BMP280 and the MPU9250, is we have to install some applications. So if we, and we go into settings, okay, let's refresh this. Okay, so there's two modules we have to um, install. We have to install the I2 sensors, I2C sensors, which I've already installed. Okay, so you just you just highlight it and go over here to uh, install and hit that button there. So that'll install the I2 sensors and that'll detect the BMP280. 
And then we have to install a PyPilot, and that will detect the MPU9250. So go ahead and install those two modules. So that's the first thing to do. The next thing to do is we have to enable I2C on the Raspberry Pi. So to check that, go into, I think it's Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. And under Interfaces, you have to enable the I2C. Okay, so we've installed those two applications. We've enabled I2C, and now we're in a position to detect the modules. So let's go into Open Plotter, and we'll go into I2C because we've just installed that. Okay, and under I2C addresses, click that and you'll see what's on the I2C bus. Now 76 turns out to be the I2C address for the BMP280 and 68 is the address for the uh, MPU. Okay, so um, the next thing to do is go under sensors now, I've already added the BMT280, but when you see this, it'll be blank. So go to Add, click Add, and then uh, go here to, these are the ones that are detected under I2C. You notice the MPU isn't here. We've only got a few modules in the M BMP. So there's the BMP280, and associate this with 76. In the blog post, I've given all the um, I2C addresses from the... Uh, manufacturer's data, data sheet so you can check the blog post as well. So there's 76. So when you do that, you can associate this with the BMP280. Say OK. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done it. So when you do that, you see this. And the next thing you do is you've got to go over to connections here. Now when you see this, you won't see the Pi Pilot because I added that later. But you'll see this. And then you add the connection to the Signal K server. OK. So that's done. And then the next thing we have to do is we've got to go to um, Open Plotter, Pi Pilot, and we go through the same type of arrangement. So when you open Pi Pilot, it should automatically detect the MPU, and you see it's um, detected there. Now you can enable it for the full um, the full Monty here on autopilot, but right now I've just set it up for only Compass because I'm not uh, going to be using Pi Pilot at the moment. So use only Compass and then go to Connections and do the same thing. Add the connection for the Signal K server, Okay, which I've already done. So we've got the BMP and the MPU set up to Signal K server. We can check that. Let's go into um, Open Plotter Signal K server, and we should see our two um, sensors there. So there we go. We've got our I2C, which is the BMP, and we've got our Pi Pilot Signal K. So those two sensors are working. And then we can go into our dashboard. And there we go. So there's our temperature and pressure from the BMP, and there's our uh, yaw pitch and roll and magnetic heading from the MPU. So what we've done basically in this video is we've looked at how to um, assemble the GY91 board, put the header on, uh, then connect it to the uh, GPIO of the Raspberry Pi and then detect the two modules. In later posts what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to use these various sensors. Right now we've only uh, focused on installation and detection.